Welcome to the shop. In part one of Digital Readout from Minimill, I showed the installation of the X and Y axis readout scales. This video shows how the Z axis readout goes together. Also, responding to a viewer question led me to add a section about protecting the scales from coolant, cutting oils, and debris. You can see here how the scales and readers are exposed to the elements. I relocated the rear way cover to the left, giving protection to the y-axis scale, but the x-axis is still exposed. To fix the problem, I made this cover to run the length of the x-axis. There's a cutout section here to make clearance for the scale reader. It's made from a piece of 1 inch by 1 inch aluminum angle that is 1 16th thick. It's thin enough to be cut with some tin snips, and I drilled some holes that line up with the holes for the scale brackets. The new cover is thick enough to act as a spacer, so the spacer washers can be left out. Put the screws in loosely until you can line everything up again. The new cover should be low enough to clear a vise or whatever you could clamp down to the bed. Preset a caliper or depth gauge. The top of the X scale brackets should be 150 thousandths down from the top surface of the bed. You should make sure everything is lined up and snugged in place before tightening all the screws. This should provide good protection for the scales and readers. But, you should remember to clean up your machine on a regular basis. As for the Z-axis scale, I had to drill two more 832 mounting holes on the column. The brackets were a bit short for clearance, so the leftover pieces from the X and Y-axis scale kits came in handy. I usually save things like that for future use. They have holes drilled and tapped to fit the upper part of the bracket. Using a couple of screws to attach the brackets together works pretty good. I used some 632 locking screws and nuts that I had in the spare nuts and bolts box. Don't forget to square them up and tighten them down. There is a set of these brackets at the bottom and top of the scale. The bracket attaching the reader to the mill head should be made to provide clearance for the Z-stop. Remember to move things around a bit to make sure the parts don't interfere with each other. Also, it should not interfere with the Z-axis locking screw arm. Here's what it looks like from the attaching side. There needs to be another 832 hole drilled and tapped for an attaching point. Adding another readout to the readout bracket was pretty easy, and putting on some labels helps avoid confusion. These additions will simplify making accurate parts on your mill. Be safe in the shop, wear your safety glasses, and go make something. Thanks for watching my video. If you find it helpful, give it a like and consider subscribing to support the channel. If you'd like more details, you can send me an email. And if you would like to build any of this for yourself, there are links in the description to the products used in this video.